What's going on guys? Eric here with Bad Beat CCG here at the PPT in Tampa with our first and second place winners. Uh, Rashad got first place, John Carlo got second place, and uh, coincident, like coincidentally, they're playing the same deck. What were y'all playing, guys? Dark Broly. Okay, so we both played Dark Broly today. Uh, we're also parts of Bad Beat CCG, uh, they're members of the GBS team, and we've been testing this deck extensively. Uh, I've been playing it since pre-release myself, and I've literally only played this deck since then. It's uh, I feel like it's really strong deck like good matchups all around the board it's a very stable deck like you don't really your bad hands can be good hands like depending on what you know like it's never never feels bad like no matter what you have in your hand honestly in this deck and i just felt like that was why i chose it is really strong you can um even coming off of a bad hand like if you mill good with a bad hand and like your bad hand's a good hand now why did you choose it same same thing really bro yeah i mean i have been i ain't been playing it as long i've been playing it for like two months maybe a month and a half um yeah there's no bad matchups like red broly is kind of 50 50 but other than that bro like you be watching everybody it don't fucking it don't matter like i don't know it's just a dub it's easy bro uh no but it, it's like every tier one like people don't even consider this tier one but like this deck has a very clear, like, positive matchup against every tier one deck. It's crazy. It's only bad matchup as itself. Yeah, exactly. Essentially, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all right. all right, guys. Well, let's get into the main deck. Oh, yeah. So, our builds, they're, like, maybe three or four cards apart. So, we just slightly different. We just said, like, all right, fuck it. We'll just do it together. So, four yeah. one drops. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Obviously, both play the four one drops. Yeah. And then with that, we play the four, the four red balls. balls. If you don't know what this does... You stack a one-drop Broly, place this in the drop. You play a six-drop Broly from your deck or your drop, and that's all this is. Also, if you have to combo with it, it's activate battle 5K power, so it's helpful on your leader's front side. I actually had to combo with this on my front side a couple times and not take early double strikes against uh, Majin Vegeta today. Uh, right, here's where we might get into a couple differences. I do play four of the Toa that searches the ball. Yeah, I only play three. Uh, it's a pretty light difference. I don't, again, it's... Like, you can recycle this for Power Burst, and I only ever felt like I needed one per game. And I'm also, I think I'm playing a, a couple extra cards than he is, so it's, it's really where the discrepancy is. Just the one card, I don't think it matters too much. Yeah. And then, coming next, I play three copies of the one drop total that lets you grab a 30k back from the drop. Um, the honest only time I ever play this card is if I have six in my drop and I want to yeah, get to seven while um, swinging at my opponent so I can kind of starve the hand a little bit more. Because uh, you can sack a 30k and choose up to one 30k and you're dropping out of your hand. So there were times where I would just play this and sack this off to make seven in my drop instead of um, swinging and combo or something. Yeah, I mean, it's just the, there's certain uh, overwhelms you want to recycle is good. But the same thing, you get it back with Power Burst, you only ever need one. And then best main deck card, second best main deck card in my opinion, uh, BMS. Uh, this card's been like amazing in like almost all my matchups today, honestly. Uh, everything but the mirror, but even in the mirror, this was huge for me because uh, once I started playing to not awaken my opponent, then they would mirror me and start playing to not awaken me. But the difference is, uh, I main deck BMS, so I had self awaken on my main board. So then them trying to mirror me and starve me, I ended up just turning aggro on them. And that's really how I won all my mirror matches in uh, Swiss today. Yeah, I got same, the same. I lost the only mirror match I played, unfortunately. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, again, this is this card is it, kind of taking a hit recently with like the Piccolo Junior and the Red Broly. That was like its best matchup, but it's just still an amazing card. And everything he said is exactly right. And against the Red Broly matchup, you drop this turn. If you go first and drop this turn one, and they Piccolo it, and then a, on your turn two, you have the option to make you them so that they can't start and they use out another that. turn, and then that just gives you more turn, like more time to stall them. And like yeah. once you stall them out, you got that matchup. And then if they don't draw the Piccolo, get fucked. Yeah, they don't draw a Piccolo, then they just have like no turn. L fucked. Uh, don't play the unison. I just played two <laughs> copies of the. Uh, <laughs> they started. Don't play the unison. <laughs> like the, the unison's like okay, it's it's decent sometimes, but it's like that's the thing, it's decent sometimes. This is good all the time. Like this is this is an extender in your deck. Yeah. So this shit is zero energy. A lot of I see people playing human extinction attack, and I personally don't like it simply because it costs one energy. Like exactly. Like, like the, the one energy is huge sometimes in this deck because like a yeah. lot of your plays cost two. So like when you're two and under, then like you really need to save your energy. So like this like puts your stuff back to let you play more big dudes at a time. I'm tapping out constantly too because I'm pr Always. like there's a really good chance you're just gonna win the game if you tap out. So you're highly incentivized to tap out. 
Yeah. Obviously, it, if you're playing awesome. like some Majin Vegeta deck, yeah, you leave one energy open for your awakening. But like, if I'm winning on turn two, I'm gonna play a two drop on turn two, and then I'm gonna play a two drop on turn three, and win the game on turn three. So this shit costs zero energy. That's why it's good. Okay. Man, moving on to the best card in the deck. The goat, bro. It's just the little best card. I hate that card. I need to ban this deck shit. Is so good because you can main deck this card with no. There's no drawback to you main decking this card. Like you. You thrive off of uh, parasitic dragon balls, the dark dragon balls, and this activate main searches that. And then not only that, for just two energy, you're getting to like stall a turn on your opponent. Like, this card, literally every game today, has been like the MVP in my deck. Yeah, yeah. Every time I play this shit, I'm like, damn, this card's good. Because essentially, like, so, so like every matchup has a high priority target. Uh, you know, there's like Shenron, Gotenks, Broly. At this point, we know what the we know what this card does. And then the fact that it adds like the most pivotal card. Like this is like, this is so important in my deck for extending plays. And it just once per turn plus five. It's like a it's like a plus one every turn, and it turns my opponent's entire turn off. And this is makes this is what makes it safe to tap out because like I, I can play this on two, and play Demigra on three or vice versa, and just I'm not gonna lose if I play this. Basically, the best part is you play this on two, and you play a six drop 30k for free from your drop and disrupt more like you either take a card off the hand you're taking something off their board and you did all that for free like and playing this installing their turn and then like negging them more while you stall their turn like this card is literally amazing then on to the next super combo of choice i feel like it's just the best one for the deck is um, the vegeta because you do have a lot of cards that you um you kind of fish from your deck so like late game when i use these i would always put my parasitic dark dragon balls in the bottom if i had a mechie on board so i could just grab them back so like i technically don't mind this for my super combo that way it shit feels um, so nice same it shit feels putting, so good <laughs> it's, it's really the same difference with putting a six drop on the bottom of your deck if you have the one drop in the ball because then you're just gonna play it from the deck anyway so like you're really not like yeah. losing and out too much with this super combo either way it goes. So it feels more like a plus two than a neg. Yeah, yeah. Like this super, it feels really good. Or one for one. Sure. Yeah. Man, uh, I didn't play two Trompa because, I mean, it's Trompa. All your stuff's free for the most part. Like, I only need one to win. Yeah, one energy. <laughs> for one energy and uh, free 99, you got 40k double strike. What's so. that? Free 99. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you just have to play this card this day. Uh oh. This is like the uh, biggest discrepancy, this actually. This is the biggest difference. I was only able to get one to Migra today. Uh, when I saw this one to Migra, it put in like the utmost work for me. Like, this, the Migra was amazing. I wish I could have played three today, but I was only able to get one today. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, Obviously, playing more is increases your chance of drawing it. But like, if also if you just draw the shit, good for you. And then again, because you can mill it with your leader early game, because you mill more than you draw, and then you can just get it back with this toe. Yeah, toe, so, yeah. drop toe. Yep. Yeah. The option to grab a thirty k back since he's thirty k, you can always just get it back. I will yeah. ask, how many times uh, with you only playing one? Like, did that toe put in even more work? Like, just re, re like reusing it. You didn't do no, it at all. I didn't do that play a single time at all. Wow. Today. I only played this card twice today. Yeah. <laughs> play this shit as often as possible i like of I only course saw, i only saw it he only saw it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely yeah. if you want to play this deck i definitely play this at three yeah i'm about to say so he definitely just like the deck is good without it but definitely play it this yeah. um generic removal you know free once again another free card that the deck has access to um, warp up to six costs battle cards on your opponent's side of the board. So in the mirror match, like um, you can Mechie call Dark Broly six, and then do this, remove their Dark Broly for free, and then like it sets your opponent back a turn of the mirror. Also, in like a lot of like Majex and other kind of swarm decks, this can hit like multiple cards at a time. Uh, early game against Dark Broly, this hits three cards. Like not Dark Broly, Red Broly, this hits three cards. Uh, they use this against Dark Broly too to clear some one drops to get some combo power off their board. I just think this is really good free removal, and honestly, like every deck. Can run this card like it's just amazing yeah i think this is the best generic overrealm uh board disruption is very important in certain matchups like uh red broly like you said i think uh go tanks board disruption is very important so this kind of just helps with that yeah so they can't sell you as easy yeah so, this card is really good it's so another like small difference i was only able to get two of these before the event uh, this card is extremely good um i've only ever actually did as Activate main from hand once the whole tournament today. Every time I like draw this card, I'm usually up playing him because uh, it's a free over realm 30k and it puts three cards back. So it's just easier. Like if you are able to do this and then your leader effect to put three back on your backside, man, that's six back in there. And you swing with him first and then swing with your leader and just pop him off. And then he was a free over realm that way. And then you get so seven back in your drop, so you get to play another free 30k. So, uh, but again, the activate main from hand is extremely good on this card. Like this is just a really good solid card in this deck as well.
I agree. <laughs> <laughs> would you have played more if you if you could have got it? I would have played a third one if I could have got a third one. Same with Demigra, I would have. Yeah, same okay. with the Demigra. But and then also just one of this because this three energy is the most expensive card that you play in your deck. But a uh, late game, like after you've been like constantly just taking cards from the hand with Demigra or the six draw Burly, uh, this dude take you choose two random cards from their hand, which is bigger than them choosing because you have a chance to hit their super combos or their negates that way. And then he's dual attack 30k, and then after he's got his two swings again, he's fuel for your leader for more combo power. So just one is good hand. I like in matchups that are slow, so like um, like Soul Striker or Blue in general. I really like looping this dude every turn again. So like you can play it, swing, swing, pop it off with Toa, add it back to your hand, play it again next turn, and um, constant pressure. Constant it's like it's, yeah, it's a lot of energy investment, but simply because like those matches are going on forever anyway, this yeah. becomes like a real MVP, and uh, it's just good. And again, like you just want to mill it with your leader. And that way, like, I, I choose when I want to access this card, yeah, basically. That's, like, the best part of the deck. Being able to mill and then just the uh, Toa, just grabbing back what you want when you need it. I'll say, like, this is our secret rare for real. Like, most secret rare are, like, basically. five energy. Ours is three energy. Yeah, that's basically our tech secret rare. And then moving on to the yeah, big I dudes. Three. I only play three of the blocker. Um, I played exactly 25, 30Ks. I just made sure half my deck was 30Ks, so I had the best chance of seeing 30Ks when I needed them. Um, this one, I, this one's okay. Like it, it I have to ask. To match. How like how many times did you actually block with it? I blocked one with this a crap day. ton, bro. Against butters, <laughs> bro. We had like our freaking game went to like turn fifty, dude. It's just crazy. Yeah, I was game one was insane. Because okay, he kept playing big or more, so I couldn't swing with anything five k uh, five cost or more. So I was like, all right, cool, summon blocker. I block with him every turn, bro. But no, you know you don't normally block with it. He's a he's a zero mana thirty k attacker. I, I know Rashad never blocks with it. No. I blocked with it one single time at all, uh, this whole day. Um, the reason was that it was in combo with a card I play on my side that we'll get into in a second, and it helped me like win my Majin Vegeta matchup because I was able to like stall them off until um, I could kill them with a clap back. So it's just three of this dude. He's a thirty k. Um, block is okay, but it don't really come up. Uh, moving on to the next one. This is the best one in my opinion. Um, he warps a card from the opponent's drop, and then they choose a warps a battle card from the opponent's drop, and they choose a card from the hand to warp. So um, early game, like if you go first, you get to play this dude off the one drop early plus ball, and immediately start your opponent negging one off. And then from then on, like you can just combo this dude off your board on the front side. He has no combo power, but they're gonna swing. You can just combo him off, and then do the same thing the next turn. Like you just constantly keep taking resources from your opponent. And again, a 30k free body, like, it's nothing bad about it. Um, just gets rid of Draw Apes, Ribrian, um, whatever Roshi. other decks. Roshi's yeah, Roshi's. Anything, other bro. decks that, like, play from the draw, but this helps you. Um, this is really big in the mirror match until your, your opponent awakens. Like, it's good at the beginning of the mirror match when you can get rid of their one drop Broly so that they can't access the, the chain easy. But once they're on the back side, it's just irrelevant. They're just gonna put them back in the draw. Yeah, it's easily the best one. So Actually, so saying that. I think, yeah, he's great. It's hard for me to say which is the best one, simply because they both shine in their own matchups. Everything yeah, he said was right, do. though. But like, against, like, Red Broly, board disruption is more important than hand disruption. Which is very true. I play, I play fours, dude. I play three of this, dude. Um, like you said, very valid point. Like, they're, they're very matchup dependent, but uh, nine times out of ten, me personally, I'm going for this one. Um, this one is extremely good though, like removing threats off your opponent's board, because a lot of decks in the format right now don't just have access to removal, like just generic removal, like yeah. this deck can play so much removal and recursion, like you just get so much yeah. value like out for free out of this deck, it's insane. Like so yeah. I only played three of this dude, but he is really good. So. Yeah. Um I feel like I was gonna say something cool and then I forgot. Oh, oh, well, why yeah, do you yeah. play four over three? Because okay, yeah, yeah, it's funny. You know, he said he plays uh exactly 25. Uh, 25. So I play 52 cards and I play 26, 26 30 Ks. So same theory. I just play two more <laughs> oh, cards. So that would be like the, That's like well, one of the cards. Yeah. 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 Um, no creature based deck can compete with this deck simply because I have the best creatures. Your creatures can be good. Like, like take Gotenks Reaper of Justice or whatever it's called, for example. That's a two drop. Uh, like, you don't really draw any two drop, pop a card. It, it does a lot, right? My shit is like zero mana plus two plus two like and then when these are like i never have to combo with these i'll swing into leader 30k you're not you're not gonna out combo it swing into a battle card 30k you might out combo it if you if i'm swinging in like a 25k but not really like so like no creature based deck and i, th I think the is heavily favored in this matchup as well because that's also a creature based deck and our creatures are simply better like 
yeah, again, Vagex is playing stuff for zero energy, but it's not a 30k pop one, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Moving on to Negates. I only played three copies of Power Burst. Yeah. We, yeah, we both only played three copies of Power Burst. So. Power Burst is good. Unless you, like, there's a lot of one drops in your deck that you can, that are good for you to add back to your hands. Like, Power Burst is, like, amazing in this deck. Like, of course, in every black deck, it's usually pretty good, but. It's the best negate in the game. Yeah. I don't, this, it's the best negate in the game. And this deck, like, dude, like, you have something like your Power Burst turns into a search, search a Dark Dragon Ball, or add a 30k back to your hand, a one drop to play it, bro. And Power Burst is literally turns into other cards in this deck. Yeah, like, a lot of times you get, like, like, this is, like, number one target is this dude. Yeah. So so you just get them back, and then for just one energy next turn, you get to start another chain for free, basically. Probably three. And he plays three protector. I only was able to get two protector for the event, but I was actually uh, good with two protector. I don't think I would personally would play a third right now because I didn't. Um, Every time I saw you have one, you had the other. Yeah, like they they came yeah, they, they for me all day. Uh, uh, this thing is like, like extremely good against aggro. This was what helped me win against Majin Vegeta easily. Like being able to like boost my dude. Uh, two games against Majin Vegeta in a row, I actually double protected them, so I was gaining a thousand, uh, 10k instead of 5k per battle card, and like that was just like huge. Like that stopped his turn right there. Yeah, I agree. Um, I I also think two might be the right number because. There were so that, many that, games that I would actually side that. one out simply because once you, yeah. like, you play the first one and then, like, the game's over the next turn. Yeah. Like and so, that. like, I'd have two in my hand and I, like, couldn't do anything with the second one sometimes. So, yeah, that makes sense. But, yeah, aggro is real. You got to play this shit. Yeah. Gotcha. Our, side, our, our sides are pretty much, again, pretty similar. Pretty similar. I played three copies of this card. Um, uh, were you worried about blue? Not really. Uh, blue has, in my opinion, the best matchup against Dark Broly. Still, I wouldn't say it's in their favor. But, like, if you can drop this against Blue, then you're, like, guaranteed to, like, yeah. win. Like, it's a slog. There's there's a lot of things you can do against, like, so if, if we look at Blue as a 50-50, there's a lot of things you can do to tilt matchup in your favor. Playing this on one and playing uh, Demigra on two, if you play Demigra before they can establish their unison, there's a really good chance they just can't clear it. And so by playing, uh, by curving out like this, the matchup just heavily tilts into your favor. Yeah, and then I don't really don't know what they do to remove this guy. Like once he's established either with the barrier, it's yeah. like not really a whole lot. Blue has to remove him. And then also just uh, play one, draw one. That's a nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, uh, like three Devil Man. You play two and two, right? Devil Man. Yeah, he plays three Devil Man. I play two Devil Man and two Deborah. Why do you play Deborah? Um, I play Deborah because uh, Deborah. Both of these cards are really good against Red Broly, which is, you know, arguably the best deck right now. Uh, this card also stops secret rares that don't have barrier. So that's also the other reason I play this card. Like, Celzino has to flake, but he don't have barrier. So, like, if I can get this on their Celzino, then they can't swing with him anymore. Like, that stops the... Uh, if they got enough energy there, they still take the cards out of my hand, but now I'm not facing a dual attack quadruple strike with this. And this card was, um... More so, Topo. I played it... Yeah, Topo. This shit stops Topo. This, I did. This, this dude, <laughs> he tapped two, dumped one to play Topo, and I was like, Devil Man, he like read it three times. He was like, uh, uh, this shit was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's pretty much so right there. Yeah. But, man, as soon as that happened, you just cry. Yeah. yeah. I only played too hard. I know that was MVP for you I again. Mean, shit, yeah, it's, it's hard, hard, bro. It's been out so long, you should know what it does by now. Yeah. Um, I drew it every time against Majin Vegeta. It was awesome against Majin Vegeta. Yeah. Uh, I played two Gohan. Um, they're, they're really uh, this card's good. I mean, like, there's a lot of matchups I'll side it in. He, he's either, like, he either helps with aggression or defense. Uh, some like there there are some matchups where like maybe like Black Mass Sand isn't that good, uh, like Green for example, because they're really just gonna kill it. They have Dormant, they have Death Ball. I'll find myself siding that card out just to put stuff like this in, uh, simply because like I actually play this. It doesn't just get Death Balled. Yeah, I didn't play any of those today. Uh, I did one of the mirror matches I played played them, but sure. The next uh, we both play. Three copies of Super Saiyan Three Bar. Yeah, um, good. Probably best card in my deck against Majin Vegeta because um, we went to Game Three both times I played the matchup today, and both times I died with one energy that we went to Game Three. So like whenever I was actually able to like get this and set this off to where they can only score one battle card, and I got the next turn after that, then like I just win because like I'm taking their hand apart. They're not drawing that many cards. They're taking their own life. My dude's a 30k like. For you to combo out of a 30k, you probably get to combo out of one and a half of them before your hand's gone. Yeah. So, like, this, this is quite healthy. This is, all, I mean, yeah, like you said, aggro. Red Broly, Majin Vegeta, the Mirror Match. 
anything that's attacking me, I'm gonna play this shit, and then you can't only attack with one battle card, you're probably not gonna win, you know. And the last card to my side, I play three max for just more generic removal. Um, I actually don't think I've ever negated with this card. I think every time I saw it in is for <laughs> removal purposes. Up, nope, and I didn't want to hit. I would, I would agree, yeah. Um, spot removal, right? We a single target removal is just good to have sometimes. Uh, again, matchups where board disruption is very important. Red Broly, this is good. Um, there's some matchups where protector is actually just not good. Um, yeah. So you can just put these in instead of protector. Yeah, I've sided my protectors out in a couple of games and brought these in. I'm um, actually against the Dark Bro match, mirror match. I saw yeah, my protectors out. Yeah, this is generally this. better. Yeah. Well, that's, does that does that particular guard help the uh, SPR Broly like shine more with like double like yeah, double spot absolutely. remove? Yeah, yeah, double spot remove because one energy and um, warp and free and drop is like free remove too. Yeah. So like, this card is like amazing because like, like and then on top of that, if you have the six drop um, mass sand, you can remove mm -hmm. like a million cards for yeah, like literally one energy because both of those other two options are free and this is just one energy so yeah that's fair i agree there's like a lot of removal well would guys you, would you uh what'd you play today you played a hell of mirror matches yeah, oh yeah sure. a million mirror matches okay so round one and swiss i played against the uh, reboot hit the uh, all green package with the red leader the uh, one that alex will can play and i'm assuming it was the same attack list uh round two played dark burly mirror match that went to game three and i won that in game three um going on to round three played another dark burly mirror match i won that one 2 uh, pretty fast um his build was a little bit different and i think he was playing a little, some cards that definitely weren't optimal in the deck that he didn't need to be playing and it kind of slowed him down to where i was just able to just take off on him and then Moving on from that, on to round four, I played Modern Vegeta. We were the only two undefeateds at that time. No, there was three. We were both undefeated in that matchup. Uh, that went to game three as well. On um, very first um, round, he killed me when I had one energy. On his turn two, he went first. Then after that game two, after I sideboarded, uh, I was able to just like floodgate him out. He was taking his own life. I was able to just murder him with a double strike champa. Just clean that up. And then same thing in that uh, round three for that matchup. Just, after the sideboard, it just made it easy. Then getting the top cut, um, first round of top cut, top eight, I played another Dark Broly Mirror match. It's the same one from round two. We went in the game three again. And that was about the same, just grind game in that mirror match. Uh, top four, I played against the Majin Vegeta again. And it was the same thing. He killed me on one energy first game and at the sideboard, cleaned it up. And then we played in the finals, my fourth mirror match of the day. And then I fortunately just drew way better. It was really all it was. I just drew better. Give us a very brief breakdown. Um, yeah, I played a bunch of people. It, it's not as relevant. I, didn't, I played a bunch of random. I played something different every round. It was fun. It was cool. Um... Yeah, and I mean, I, I wouldn't say. I mean, he 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 played well. He deserved a win, obviously. I will say, game two, uh, his last attack was twenty five k, and I super combo, and I get two extra cards I can't combo with, and I, I can't out combo. And so, like something so small like that, like I, I'm not gonna be mad about it. We played great games. Uh, shout out Butters, bro. I played him twice. Round one oh, we yeah. drew, the and then in top four, I won. He was playing big Amore, bro. That shit was so annoying. Um, <laughs> We also our, have his deck profile going up on our we channel. We got his deck profile going up, sure. Um, yeah, I mean, that was a great match. Was, I played a lot of great Dragon Ball today. Shout out to everybody. Yeah. Um, like us on YouTube. Like us on Facebook, Bad Beats CCG. We have Dragon Ball tournaments every Thursday. We have webcam events. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to just message me personally or message like the Bad Beats CCG Facebook or comment on the YouTube video. It don't matter. Um, but anyway, yeah, I had a great day, man. Shout out PPG. Shout out uh, Kitchen Table Games. Shout out Rashad for being better than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to say the same thing. Shout out for uh, John for having us here. Shout out PPG. Shout out Kitchen Table Games. And shout out Bad Beats CCG, our team. We put a lot of time into this. And we came down here and we got first and second. Like, you know, we did what we, we wanted to do. Exactly. And it was a fun day. And Dark Brothers Tier 1, stop fucking saying it's not. Y'all are wrong. <laughs> I don't money match anybody. I don't give a fuck. Thanks. <laughs> All right, y'all. Congrats. <laughs> Peace.